A few cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but a few cobwebs. It was wonderful. I be that was quite. I'm eager to get to Hogs. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. The old pile of rocks.
you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> ah, flattery. Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Ranrock? Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Wiganweld potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Use G to heal. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? A Attacking dragon. a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <coughs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? Yeah, An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why.
from London and the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. <coughs> this way. Come on, old man. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Tap to perform a basic camera. Excellent! <laughs> Use your camera to select. It was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Glamour. Ah, Glamour. Up there. Oh, I was gonna say, is he gonna lift me up there? I don't know his whole body. I didn't have it at the beginning of the game. We're close now, it's just ahead. I just love blowing stuff up. Oh wow. And these settings are only on high guys. Steady yourself! I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. 
Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Giant statue that really out of place? Shows you Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? <laughs> Professor Fig! <laughs> How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Bank. In the fucking bank. Hello? This is the bank, guys. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we're <having> here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. Yes, the vaults yes. you see now are the newest. Yes. Our private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to 
take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Yeah. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the <laughs> deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> On your way. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Watch my character be like filthy rich. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Best of luck. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again.
Sorry guys, I got a text message. Rebellion. A door. Rebellion. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. So I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Rebellion. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. No, I need to cast Lumos. Getting it down, Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Exposo! Let's 
Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Lumos! Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. You guys wouldn't mind giving me a couple seconds. I'm gonna go get a drink. That investigate button. Uh, there you are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. 
I wonder. So do I. <coughs> Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have... I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not Bad giving you yes. anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. 
I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. So that's kind of disappointing. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Classes are explored. I really want to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, 
I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. in Slytherin! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. So, Mrs. It's a, we, the Professor Weasley is now female. So. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. Oh, dude, I'm sorry for my Well language. done. But now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Yes. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. I think we're revealing here, guys. I suppose some introductions are in order. Help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. 
Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. Ha <laughs> ha! That is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable oh. arrival. Memorable? More like terrifying. I'd like to make an entrance. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> Well, You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Nice to meet you. you suspect you... Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I might be. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. They should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. Ha, <laughs> 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 not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Hmm. Makes sense. 
Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. I'm gonna have to try that. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. Hmm. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Oh, my, oh my. I heard it's that someone called the Something had to wait, Miss Weasley. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see Revelio. what details the field guide can provide? Excuse me, guys. I apologize about that. It's 
says, this statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland in Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long green horse. The largest Kelpie, excuse me, ever reported to Lochness, Lock of the Lochness, I'm sorry, I feel stupid for that, reported the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. Loch Ness. <laughs> uh, what an idiot I am. You've unlocked a field guide challenge. Guide challenge are the only way to acquire experience points. Wizard level XP earned from challenges increases level and power level. Your field guide charts your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu. <clears throat> field guide pages. Each challenge has two special rewards unlocked. Complete from critical upgrades. Hold more with multi plane challenges among the options. Here you go, lady. Since, since I got the uh, oh, I forgot what it was I got. <laughs> oh, you can actually change a lot of stuff on here. <clears throat> isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Will do, Miss Weasley. I am here to explore. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map, where students and professors live, and includes the house recommendation groups. Okay. Great hall.
Legion Green Tree Flames Represent flames you can discover Flames you have discovered including your own house, common room, gray flu flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. Fucking hell, what is wrong with me? Everything's gray right now, so I can't go nowhere. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astro astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. Wow, this game, you can really... Central Hall. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall flu flame for you. Use the A D to rotate. Oh, so you can actually select. Make it harder like that. Okay, so you can rotate. And let's go to Central Hall. I wanted to see how it works if it was like. You know, the. Uh... And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs called? lead directly to Central oh, Hall. Come on, chat. If anybody's there, please. If you, you can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly watch. from Central Hall. Harry Potter. What is it where he throws down the green powder? It says diagonally instead of Diagon Alley. I forgot what it's called. If anybody's there and they know what I'm talking about, please, 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 please tell me, please. It's gonna bother me. <clears throat> Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Love. They do move. Oh no. Gee, these fans move. How nice to see you, my young friend. Who said that? It's only you said that. should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Whoever has been watching this, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. There's one viewer. That's still watching. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. Excuse me, sorry. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I know what dark arts, the defense against dark arts, Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. 
My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. <laughs> Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it the chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. I like you Might I rely well. on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Diagon Alley. Well, Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. This represents main quest. Completing main quest will further the story. Unlock new feathers, frantic speed. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In this case, you will need to be the required level and or require the spell to achieve the quest. New spells can be earned by a compl uh, completing professor assignments or as quest rewards. Defense against the dark arts. The field field guide map shows Professor PKS class in the lower section. Let's go to charms first. Track that quest. 
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, guys. To go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. My entire family's been sorted into Hufflepuff. Except for me, that is. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well... It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. 
Keep at it? You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I can't get rid of my hiccups, you guys. This is horrible. I don't want to make you guys suffer through my hiccups, too. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the... Very good! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Excellent control there. <coughs> Akio. Splendid! Yeah, 50. There's 90 points. Very good! Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Watch this. That is how it's done. Okay. Akio. <laughs> Very good. Let us see this. Make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, enough okay. chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this.
Good, both of you. Well done. She still won. She beat me both times. It's embarrassing. Ma, she's she. Yeah. Yeah. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Don't be cocky. Yeah. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world okay. at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, Bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can. A word, if you would. Humans, if you're so inclined. Well, like you'd be ever. using... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, 
An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Put my ugly face on Facebook. <laughs> Gonna be even nice about it, huh? G? You gotta put pendejo. You. Uh, yeah. You talking to me? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. Oh. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Oh, I'm sorry to say that. Did you hear that? I suppose one could smuggle her. And then the werewolves join the goblins. What are you up to now? Uh, going to Dark Arts training? Yeah. Oh, Let me also. 
Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. No. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Slytherin. I'm Slytherin because of the choices that I made in the beginning. If I would have made different choices, it would have given me something else. Although Levioso. I could have chosen to be something else, but the hat. Now Let's try something a little larger. You originally given me so I'm gonna go But I should have chosen something else considering the two names that I chose in the name is Albus. Let us begin with a basic cast. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso, go! Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. I can turn my mic up. You're good. How perceptive. Help. Oh. How's the view? Oh, he's good at this, aren't he? I know. Take me off guard. Protego! Stupid Protego! Let me hurt those things. Lucky. Something lucky. Let me turn my mic up, help. I know. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. 
Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Oh, Again, well sir. done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Can you hear, can you hear that better? Is the game to chat better now, brother? Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. Not it a problem. Practice. Let me practice. See if I can. It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't turn it a little more down. New student to be so deaf to the one. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first. <clears throat> I think it's still picking up my headset so much. Yeah, I think that'll be better right there. He said, I felt like I was, then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my fair share of wand combat. It was. Never used my wand in combat. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires attention and talent. That's good. That's good. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Dueling organization sounds interesting. Sounds sus sounds suspicious. You know you might be perfection. Searching exclusive. Hmm. Sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. <coughs> Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, I can do video too, but at the moment I choose not to do video because before I do video, I want to get a, a green screen for the background. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. <coughs> Till next time. Got the fucking hiccup still though. <laughs> oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I prefer to keep things friendly. Alright, where to next? Just a second, I gotta run to the bathroom. What are you doing right now, Chance? <laughs> Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've 
new quest available. Now it shows up. That thing's on the other side. You can run fast. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Sorry. Love cats. That's kind of creepy. What about you, Professor? <gasps> I was thinking the same thing. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse me. Ah, there you are. So I, Professor Fig has continued to ask me to hide that from Professor Weasley. So I'm going to continue doing it, obliging, obligedly. In regard, I have asked the Professor to have haste in your progress of extreme assignments. Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you. Now, regarding the trip to Hogwarts, I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spellcrafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander is connected with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. So there really is an Ollivander's here. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. See Diagon Alley. See Diagon Alley. Is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. What's a spellcraft? What more can you tell me about the potion shop? Oh, I'm ready to go. That other guy creeps me out. Considering the fact, I mean, I guess I could spend more time with him considering the fact that he's an heir of the fucking original maker of Slytherin of the four houses. If I can get in there, snug in their pocket, I can be pretty good at the Slytherin. So I should have rethought that. But it's alright, it's alright, it's all good. 
Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that when completed rewards you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo which is required to complete the quest. You can track assignments Dr. Professor Ronan. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems you did that by coming early. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Ronan <coughs> mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the test right away, Professor. Oh. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Rebellion. That was horrible. Well, I got the page though. Collect a flying page from the defense of my dark arts tower. Got that flying page. at the ready. Oh my. And that was a piece of cake. So do I have stuff? I, 
I swear I should. A wheel. How's that? There's some glasses. Some glazes. Oh, or not. <laughs> Legendary gloves. Doesn't show nothing. Six out of twenty. Where? <laughs> oh, shit. Time to get rid of this borrowed wand. Use what the fudge knuckles? That is kind of creepy. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. <laughs> potty. Samantha thinks I'm potty. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have a look. Have you learned everything about it? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other 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 paintings like this here? Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I can work out the riddle of this one. I'll know what it would be. As good a place as any to begin. Okay, maybe I'll have a look. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Okay, so Revelio. Revelio, Reparo. No, it was Lumos. Lenora Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? 
I'm not telling you. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am, but I was just a little smarter than you. No more distractions. Dis distractions. Oh, another distraction. I'm taking it. Let me out. Let me out. I don't want to die in here. <laughs> I don't want to die in here. The dude was humming. You better watch out, man. I'll blast you. I'll fucking blast you. <laughs> I love this game. I absolutely love this game. I am. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hall Street. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to that. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first rate Hogsmeade experience. A Hogsmeade experience. Oh, you guys. Here we go to Hogsmeade. Oh, she running. Can we not run? Oh, here we go. We can go faster. Oh, got that one. Can we not run? Please? I want to enjoy all this. Look at this. Look. Yo, look. Like, for reals. My bad, guys. My lovely Lanta. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I don't know how you guys are with the cold, but I'm not bothered by it. I was born and raised in Texas, and it is much nicer where I moved to. Oh yeah. Let's take some of these. I don't care. Beep 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 back to you. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> oh a hippogriff. Stop. Prance hoof and sugar fit. <laughs> oh my. Why is it off limits? 
Yeah, I'm gonna take a trip in there soon. Bird. Bird. Oh man. Oh, those things are beautiful. Apparently. You're only supposed to be able to see those if you've seen death. How are you certain you? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival seeing quite strange. The lake? Everything was so I'm getting used to things. Dude, you can sprint, can't you? Okay. Kitty. Kitty. I'm sorry, guys. Cats. I love cats. <laughs> Had to stop to take a look at the scenery. That is lovely. Bye, kitty. He's drunk. I say that because I had the cups earlier and I've been drinking. Nah. <laughs> what is that? But we're two separate houses. I need somebody to explore that's in my house. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The three blue stick is the place for Pata And you can get any sweets you can imagine at Honeybees. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am here to see what... Ollivander. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Hogsmeade Village. <laughs> Who will get the seed first? <clears throat> well, 
Timothy Tisdale. Sounds good, my man. Let's get that package of Dittany seeds. I'm only here for what I need, man. I apologize. Maybe soon. Okay, so we got that. What else do we need? Scroll. All of Avengers is last. Pippin's potions or scrolls. Toms and scrolls. I'm going to Pippin's potions first. Jazz over here. Two out of two, huh? What was it? I? Owl's Challenges, it was. One out of three, one out of two, one out of four. So back. Scrolls and pages. Complete four out of eight. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. J. Pippin's Potions. Guys, do you hear the music? In J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. <laughs> Miss Lawang. We shall. What can I do for you today? So she sent me four Endurers potion recipe and Wagon Wheel potion recipe. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back Focus to potion time. recipe is twelve hundred. Thunderbird recipe is twelve hundred. 
Invisibility potion is 800. That would be nice. Maximum potion recipe. Maximum. One came for those. Oh. Okay, so we need scrolls. Scrolls. Ollivanders is next, but we're gonna go to Ollivanders last. Ollivanders is last, you guys. Another page. Always on the lookout for pages, guys. So if you guys see pages that I don't, please, in the comment section, let me know. Because sometimes you guys may see things I don't. Page. Accio. I absolutely love this. I'm going the wrong way. See? I'm getting so into the game that I'm going the absolute freaking wrong way. <laughs> Buffoon. We're here for scrolls. Thomas Brown. Albus Blaze. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items. Potting table with a small pot. Spellcraft. Small potion stable and spellcraft. My homeboy. All your stuff is so expensive. I only have 207 gold. Alright guys. You know what time it is. What? No, fudge knuckles. Mm, Fifty two gold. What is that? What is that? I want to know what the freak that is. You guys know what time it is. Diagon Alley. <laughs> Alright, before we go in here, I'll be right back one more time. Give me just a couple seconds, you guys.
<clears throat> I apologize about that. Oh, there's a chest right there. Crimson cloak. Inventory. Lace wing flies. Leaping toadstool caps. Moonstone. Hmm. Crimson cloak scarf. An extraordinary piece. Offense 5. Defense. No upgrades applied. Let's equip this, guys. So we have an extraordinary piece. Now equipped it. I don't know why it's... Oh, oh down here. Okay, so perfect vest uniform, relaxed jumper school uniform, dreamer's nightwear. <laughs> dreamer's nightwear is a nightgown. We have to go with the dreamer's nightwear, right? We have to. We are now geared. So we are now getting our wand. Whoa. Oh, that's right. The wand maker's always expecting. I'm looking for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes. Uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerald Ollivanders, you may. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the Oh man, if this happens like the movies, guys, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> Give it a flick. Oh, oh, it is, it is, it is. Firecrackers. Alrighty, brother. Good night, man. You have a good night. Uh, hopefully tomorrow this will be uploaded on here, so you can watch the rest of it. Maybe tomorrow we can uh, game on something else.
Yep. Right there. Phoenix feather. Phoenix feather. Fourteen and a quarter inches. Horn beam. Alder fourteen and a half inches. Unyielding How intriguing. Quite bendy, firmly bendy, very flexible. Hard, solid, stiff. Unbending, firmly yielding, unyielding. Firmly yielding is what I'm going to go with. Slightly yielding. How intriguing. It's going to stay Phoenix Feather. You guys, I can't decide between this one and this one. But honestly, I think I'm going to go with this one. I am looking forward to trying this wand.
I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we could walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Another one. Control. Oh, so I can't. Made it out just in time. We got him. X. Repair the damage. So it would be three. Yes, kitty, I'll give you attention. <coughs> Hi there, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Meow. Oh, I just love cats so much. I wish I had my cat. He was such a jerk, but such a lovable jerk. His name was Chewy. He was orange and white. <clears throat> if you're wondering what happened to him, nothing happened to him. Um, he's back in Texas. I didn't do that one. That is insane. Oh, she's inside this building. T. 
tea. Don't mind if I do. What is this? That is cool. See? See? I want it. I want it. Fucking want it. So, inventory. Got some new gloves. Brown leather gloves. I mean, I guess. They're better. Excuse me. That's far generous of you. Thank you, Thirst. Should I accept the gift or say no? Do I stay humble? I'm a Slytherin, though, so I accept gift. Preview gear. Man, look at that. Temporarily unavailable. Oof, that looked good on me. <laughs> Yo, that thing was only 500. Okay, so cloak. I'm getting messages, but I really don't want to look at them. <laughs> that is a cool looking cloak dude like honestly Three broomsticks. Dude. Like, that is so cool. Alright, Natalie. Or Nat. 
what is it? Net Natashi? Natashi or Natty? I call her Natty. I'm gonna hate myself for saying what I said. Why does Serona sound like a man? Apologize about that, guys. I had to. What's that lock lock I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serena. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come. The b three broomsticks is exactly what it used to be. Get out of here, little piggy. Sorry guys, give me just a second. Need to figure out how it's going where I want it to go. 
just don't understand why things are becoming so laggy and slow. Hogwarts we go, you guys. Hogwarts we go. Okay, so this is the third. Okay, so our first night, first day. This is the second day at Hogwarts. Things are going okay, I guess. Can't say for sure. I guess I need to make it out before I get my next. You have received an owl from Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found in the. Do your owls come in messages like that? That is cool. Do you see that thing? Does it not look like the Elder Wand? I think the Elder Wand had one more. One of those little hump balls things. Balls. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> the thing freaking yelled at her and got shredded. Weasley got one of those. <clears throat> that is oh so cool. I wanna fly. Wrong way, Mike. Wrong way, Elvis. Not up to nothing, ma'am. Specific as if my schedule wasn't congested enough, the ministry has charged me with arranging rather inconvenient arrival of a new student of Hogwarts, the fifth year. If you can believe, Professor Weasley insists that they will need an escort and a mentor to help them. <coughs> Assign the task to you. Please see Professor Weasley for details. Oh, and you didn't like it? You didn't like? You didn't like to be my mentor? Wearing armor. 
It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver. Ramrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ramrock and he said to work for me. Ramrock was in Hogsby with Rookwood. The trolls were Ramrock's distraction so that Rookwood could fight him. And he would have had to roam on the pavements with three drumsticks on his feet. This is great news indeed. <laughs> It tracks people. Thank you, Mr. Fig. I'll get this done as soon as I can. <clears throat> How far is the defensive map? Dark Arts. Just underneath me. Give me time to capture anything if I see anything.
how to get your goods to down from their hiding spots. If they knew that, they'd get them themselves. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Nappy said hello once, but not a word since. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Kitty, I'm sorry, Kitty.
What was I supposed to learn? Quest me. Reach level three. Just set a quest to track. Track. Nope, oh, sorry, dude. Would you walk over this? Because I don't know. I'd walk out and see it and I'd be like, ah! <laughs> Just saying. What a, what a big bridge. Well, not big itself, but high. So fucking great. I fucking love this game. So many things you can interact with and fucking watch. Oh, look at that shimmer. Dude. I can't wait until I get to fly. I really can't. <clears throat> Dear Lucian, Sassy told me to see you last part. It's Sassy that I just see. That's all I need to know. I coordinate you for fun. I do think I'm so. You must have really impressed the last team. Give me just a second.
Get me in this ring. Let's do this. Are you sure about that? Okay. Breakthrough yellow shields. Control spills. All right. They were fucking me up there at the beginning. I was hitting tab instead of Q. Excuse me. What level am I? Four? That's level five. So quests. Torches, 
Son of a bitch. <coughs> I'm gonna give myself a fucking heart attack doing this. Sorry guys for this hiccups and these burps. They're awfully rude, I know. Do I do it do with Natasha or Sebastian? Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian. Let's get to it. Ready to get fresh? Are you? Oh, there's three. Two versus three. Right there. Yeah, they got it. They ate it.
Okay, so... Okay. I can't get enough of that. These hiccups, these hiccups. This is lovely though. Like, look at the scenery. Those pillars that aren't even touching each other. And the pillars that are. It's just insane. Going the wrong way again. Okay, so... Let's 
that's how we'll do it. Alright guys. I think we're gonna call it here. So let's figure out how to exit. <laughs> Oh, settings. It's a game. <coughs> right in front of me. I said, all right, guys, I think we're going to exit here. Zero minutes and 58 seconds since last save point. That's fine. guys I appreciate you for joining I really do I'm sorry for my hiccups if you enjoyed this please hit a thumbs up comment something this vid video I'm sorry for my hiccups right now. This video was recorded. And today is the 10th. So tomor tomorrow will be February. Uh, Saturday, Saturday, February 11th. And this video will go up on my Twitch. So... If you guys watch this video and like it, please give it give it a thumbs up. Gives it a thumbs up. My hiccups are kicking my ass right now. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. But for for do thank you. My name is Michael Sutherland, also known as Legend Chief. Thank you guys for joining, and I'll see you some other time, more than likely tomorrow. Oh, these hiccups.